Hey, this is Brian from Advancement Hockey Advising, and today we'll be talking about the Junior A Leagues that are free to play or close to it. All right, now before we dive into it, as always, just a reminder to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and share the video if you like the content. So just a real quick note on sharing, if you guys can share this video, it'll help the channel a lot and it'll help us grow. And more importantly, it's actually going to help the hockey players and families out there that really need to see this type of content, you know? So if you can, you know, take a second, share it on Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media you use, it would really help us and others out there a ton. And of course, if you want to reach out to us at any time, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below or email us at info at ahadvising.com and we'll answer you as soon as we can. Last quick thing, as always, there's gonna be timestamps throughout the whole video. So if ever you wanna skip ahead to whatever section you specifically wanna watch, feel free to do that at any time. All right, so all that stuff aside, let's dive into it. So the reason why we're making this video here is that we understand the financial side of things. We understand that, you know, certain junior programs can cost a lot of money. We understand how expensive hockey can be and because I've been there in my shoes personally, my parents have been there. It's definitely, you know, not a cheap route for sure. But there are ways, you know, that you can save money. And one of the ways is to look at the free to play junior leagues. Now, there's quite a few and we're going to list all of them here in a sec. And we're doing this just basically to help you guys, you know, make good financial decisions and know which options to choose. All right, so a couple of quick disclaimers before we dive into our list of leagues here. Number one is we're gonna be focusing on North American leagues only. So only Canada and US, European leagues and all that stuff, they're gonna be kind of out of the picture for this particular video. Number two, we're not really gonna hit junior B leagues. There are some, you know, junior B leagues like the GOJHL, for example, that is basically free to play or almost close to it. And uh, actually some teams pay players to play there, but you know, that's a topic for another video. For this video, we're gonna be focusing only on junior A specific leagues and the ones that are in North America. All right, and last quick disclaimer is we all know the global impact that the pandemics had on the economy. And you know, junior A teams were no stranger to that impact. Like it, some teams that were previously free to play, you know, did charge a little bit to players this season just to keep up, you know, and be able to stay afloat and stuff like that. But for this video's purposes, we're gonna kind of exclude this year of the pandemic with the junior A programs. And we're gonna look at the junior A teams, how they normally operate under non-pandemic circumstances. All right, so last quick thing before we dive in here, obviously we're gonna be mentioning a bunch of different leagues here that are free to play and stuff like that, but we're gonna be focusing more on the financial side of things for this video. If you want a video explaining, you know, how good the leagues are, you know, how good the advanced players in NCAA, if you want a general ranking, well, we made a video just like that just a few weeks ago, and you should see uh, the link pop up in the top right here. So definitely check that out if that's what you're, you're looking for. All right, so to do our list here, we're gonna start with the US and then we're gonna move on to Canada. So first and foremost in the US, probably comes as no surprise, is the USHL or the United States Hockey League, right? This is, you know, like we said in our previous video, the best league if you're looking to go NCAA, right? It's super high caliber. It's the best caliber if you, you know, factor out major junior hockey. And you know, what, what's nice about this league is all the perks you get with it, right? You get no league fee, no team fee, no billeting fees, pretty much no fees altogether. It's practically free. I would say you even get all, so much gear, right? Your, your hockey equipment is provided for you. You know, team meals when you're on the road is provided for you. So it's really, you know, it's, it's really a free to play league. And you know, it, if you can make this league, chances are you're gonna go NCAA D1 hockey and you're gonna get pretty much no expenses uh, having to pay. So your parents are gonna be pretty happy with it. So definitely one of the leagues you wanna look out for, for sure. All right, so next on our list is the NAHL or the North American Hockey League. Now this league is practically free. Um, the only difference between this one and the USHL is the billet fees, right? There's no league fee, there's no team fees, nothing like that. It's just that typically the NAHL, not every organization, but most, charge billet fees that range from $300 about to $500 a month. Now billet fees, as you'll see throughout the video too, it really all depends on the specific team, right? Some teams will cover it, some teams will you know, charge really low and some teams will charge really high. It all depends on the program that you're in. But generally speaking, 
you know, if you want to go play again in another free to play league, that's, um, you know, quite strong, good for NCAA advancement. And that's, you know, practically free minus ability fees. The NA is a great spot to go to as well. All right. So the last league on our list here, that's from the U S is the NCDC or the national collegiate development conference. All right, so the NCDC is very similar to the NAHL. The only small discrepancy is there's a small league fee of about $500, but you know, that, that depends on the team, right? Some teams will just cover that for certain players. They'll cover it for all the players and some teams will just charge it for all the players. So it depends on the team. Uh, but overall, you know, there's no team fees outside of that. And you know, there's just small bill of fees like the NHL of about 300 to $500 a month. You know, obviously some teams will cover for it, other teams won't, um, other teams will cover for certain players. It all really depends, but overall the NCDC is a great league to go to if your goal is to play NCAA hockey and if you want to, you know, save some money in the process. All right, so moving on to Canada here. So let's start with the major junior hockey league. So every league in the CHL. So you got the Ontario Hockey League, you got the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, and you got the Western Hockey League. Now these leagues are pretty sweet in their own regard uh, that every everything is paid, you know, all expenses paid, don't have to worry about anything, even get a small stipend to play there. So that's kind of nice. But that being said, the one big disadvantage to this league, as we've said in our previous video, you know, NCAA versus Major Junior, uh, is that because you get this stipend, the NCAA considers this as, you know, a professional, you know, so it considers, considers you not as an amateur anymore. So because of that, you're now NCAA ineligible. So if your goal is to go play NCAA, obviously don't go play here just for the, you know, high caliber and, and financial benefits. Uh, definitely, you know, go major junior, as we've said before, if your goal is to play pro as fast as possible, if you're an elite hockey player, all that stuff you know, because uh, you don't want to forego your NCAA eligibility if that's your goal. But overall, you know, Major Junior is great if, you know, you're looking at the financial side of things. And next on our list is basically all the Western leagues in Canada. All these leagues adopt the model of basically all expenses paid. So you're looking at the BCHL, which is the uh, British Columbia Hockey League, the AJHL, which is the Alberta Junior Hockey League, the SJHL, which is the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League, and the MJHL, which is the Manitoba Junior Hockey League. And basically, all these leagues here pretty much pay everything. No league fee, no team fees, no billet fees. They give you equipment, team meals on the road. You know, I played in the MJ, my, MJHL myself uh, for a little bit, and I basically didn't have to pay anything. So that was kind of nice. And they're all really strong caliber leagues. Obviously, the BC being the, the strongest and the MJ being more at the bottom side of things. But even then, the MJHL is a solid league to play in, and it's no joke. So definitely all these leagues are great leagues to play in and they're all you know basically completely free so it's a great place to go to if you're you know trying to play good caliber looking for ncaa hockey and just trying to save some money in the process all right so that's it for our list for the free to play leagues but i want to mention one quick thing about the pay to play leagues so and that's if you're a really good player and a pay to play uh, team wants you chances are they're going to reduce the cost they were going to reduce uh, the team fees that are associated with it and the team is going to cover those fees, which is completely NCAA uh, permissible. So that's one thing to look out for. You know, obviously the league fee stays the same, you know, and the billet fees, typically they're not covered. But, you know, if a team really, really wants you, they're going to try their best to reduce the cost and make it affordable for your family because they really want you on their team and you're going to be the type of player that's going to help them win. So that being said, the better you are as a hockey player, typically as a rule of thumb, the less you're gonna have to pay in the process. So, you know, that just goes to show, work on your craft, work every day, work hard to get better because by doing that, you're gonna increase your value as a hockey player, you're gonna play in better leagues, probably advance a better level, and chances are you're gonna pay less in the whole process. All right, so just a quick recap of all the leagues that are free to play or close to it. So you got in the US, the USHL, the NAHL, and the NCDC. And over in Canada, you got all the major junior leagues. So you got the OHL, the QMJHL, and the WHL. And then you got the BCHL, the AJHL, the SJHL, and the MJHL. And that being said, that's it, guys. So just a quick reminder before we let you go, as always, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and share the video if you like the content. Again, like we said before, 
Just a quick note on sharing. This channel only grows and only impacts people if you guys share the content, right? If you like this video, if you got some value out of it, chances are that someone else can too. And by sharing it to them, you're actually gonna help them. So if you share it on Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media you're on, if you take a second to do that, it'll really help us out, but more importantly, help out others that need this information. And as always, if you wanna reach out to us about anything, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. You know, we always reply to our comments. And you know, if you want to email us directly and don't want the comment to be public, definitely send us an email at info at ahadvising.com. You know, we'd be happy to answer any questions that you want to talk about. And last quick thing, if you want to check out any of the other stuff that we're up to, you know, our Instagram, our Facebook account, you know, all that stuff, our, our newsletter, if you want to check that stuff out, there's a link down in the description below that you can click and it gives you nice access to all of it and a clear layout. And that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on that next one.